Oh my God. Do you want a trip? No, for real. Someone posed a question to me the other day. Okay, it was me. Um, (laughs) And the question was, if you don't exist, does anything else? Like, I want you to think about that concept for just one second. Your entire reality sits in here. Right or wrong, true or false, it all sits in here. So my question to you is, how different would you behave if everything was manufactured in here? Because all of a sudden you wake up and you go, ha ha, no one did that to me. I actually did that to myself. But you've got to ask yourself the question, if I did that to myself, why? Why would I do that to myself? And do you know what the answer is? Because your higher self saw that there was something that was required. You couldn't see it, so they gave it to you. You gave it to you, but at a conscious level, you didn't know what you needed until in most cases, three days, four days, three months after the event, where you look back in hindsight, you go, ah, that's so, actually, I'm glad that happened. Your life isn't happening to you. It's happening from you. Because if you blame someone for a situation that you've been involved in, whoever you blame gets the power because, well, it was out of my control. You've got all the power. That's what you call disempowered. Like, think about this from an empowered perspective. You're not a victim of anything. You're the creator. Anything you see, you're part of it. Anything you see, you co-created it. The question is how much responsibility you're taking in that. See, once we start playing with a level of consciousness where we take a total responsibility for every creation in our life, we can actually start to relax a little bit. We can actually start to surrender and let go a little bit and start playing a different game where you start to go, huh, you can't look at any area of your life anymore and claim victim. Everything that shows up in your world is a direct result of something that you have chosen either at a conscious level or an unconscious level to create. The question is, where do you sit on the bus of awareness? Are you sitting at the back of the bus of awareness? You're just oblivious. You're like, why is all this shit happening to me? Like, what the f- man? Or do you sit at the front of the bus or in the driver's seat, we are like, wow, I created that. What possible lesson do I think I need in order for myself to create that? Oh, oh, that's interesting. I'll take that lesson. Who's had the penny drop, right?